Glad you could make it back. And uh, we are still playing on the um, Resonant Rise mod pack, continuing our Resonant Rise from the Ashes. And we are moving tonight on um, doing a lot of different things. We have played this mod pack particularly for, I don't know, probably about four or five hours uh, in total. And so we're kind of right at the spot where we... Um, we're able to get to the nether and maybe get some more exciting ores that will allow us to do some things we couldn't do before. Uh, we set up some really important things recently, like um, we uh, enclosed our area with a fence to keep it a little safer. Um, and we also, I'm trying to find a window to look out here. This No, that's not going to work very well. I'll just head outside and kind of show you around. Um, we also set up some apple trees. This part of the Resonant Rise mod pack that we're using is called Ancient Warfare. And it really allows you to create different NPCs, which are going to be pretty exciting because we can use those. Um, you know, I used to and really enjoy playing with the more technical mod packs. Played a lot of tech it, a lot of build craft stuff. Because um, I really enjoy kind of the logistics uh, and getting complex systems up and running. Um, things that automate all that kind of stuff. Well, the Ancient Warfare mod pack kind of allows you to do that, um, but instead of a more technical looking um, mechanisms, it uses uh, NPCs. And so you can create farmer NPCs, miner NPCs, um, as in like people who mine, not as in people who are underage. Uh, and you can uh, do a lot of stuff with them. Create uh, like warrior NPCs, archers, um, knights, all that kind of stuff. You can even have them ride horses. And uh, you can just create couriers, and there's so many options with this, this mod pack. Uh, and the Resident Rise already has a lot of different options in the mod pack. But I think we're going to try to focus um, right now on that NPC uh, idea. And so, you know, part of any good base for creating um, that automation with NPCs is the food because uh, you've still got to feed them and so in a sense you're hiring them but you're paying them in food so it's kind of a feudal system with uh, serfs who are working for you etc and so um, so the first thing we did was we got some a pretty good garden going uh, and now what I want to do is kind of automate those gardens by creating NPCs that will work them to produce the food that we need to create a great base for our future NPCs. Um, and so some of doing that is we made a, a quick trip into the nether uh, last episode and um, did a little bit of uh, really precursory mining. And so we didn't get a ton of things, uh, but we did get some things. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how to empty out my inventory. You can only place these on top of other ones when they're fully grown. And so you have to place them on the top of something. So like I could place it here or here, but I couldn't place it on the wall here uh, or on the ceiling. And so I was hoping these things would grow to full size and then I could put them with the other three that I have on top of them. Because these are essentially uh, experience point generators. So, you know, they, uh, they're they like bushes, so berries grow on them. You gather the essence berries, and then you eat them, and it gives you experience. And so, you know, the more, of course, you gra grab those berries, you can store them. And so, essentially, you could have 30 levels of... Uh, experience stored in a chest, um, which is really handy for when you really start getting into, of course, the enchanting uh, or repairing. Uh, and so um, I was hoping these would be grown, but uh, unfortunately they're not. And one of the reasons why probably is that uh, they grow in the dark. They don't like the light, and even though um, I've only got like one torch in this room, uh, it's still got a lot of windows, and apparently that one torch has been enough to keep him from growing at night. Of course, I don't want to take that torch down because then we'll have enemies spawning in our base, and that is no good. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm kind of in a bind and hoping these things grow. Well, since the this guy, these guys are not growing, I'm just going to go ahead and place these down to get them out of my inventory, and then once this is fully grown, I'll pop it up and replace them. Uh, they're also kind of in the way, too, because they hurt you, like cactus, uh, apparently they are prickly bushes, so 
I'll jump down here and check out um, what I was able to get um, mining wise in the nether. So we've got nether coal, we've got nether a diamond ore, we've got 24, nether iron, which is great, some nether lapis, um, nether redstone, copper, tin, uh, silver, and lead. Um, and then uh, nether gold, uh, and nether amber. And so, so that was great. We can always pop those things right in our smeltery uh, and get them going. Oh, we're missing a brick from our smelter. Oh, you're filling the tank. Okay. A. Balik is in the game here with me. You can see her on the map there. Here you go. Just coming in. Say hi to our our viewers. A. Balik. She's refilling our smeltery tank so that we have uh, fuel to smelt these ores down. And oh wow, she's smelting osmium, which is really odd. Usually osmium doesn't smelt in the smeltery. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. As you can see last night, I made a little bit, I made, uh, I made a, um, an alumite uh, pick and an alumite longsword um, before I went into the nether. And so there's three nuggets of, um, I think there's still, Nope, I got the aluminium or alumite out and put it into uh, ingot form and put it in the chest. But we still have some molten iron, molten obsidian, and molten aluminum in there. And now we have some molten osmium, which is really interesting. Uh, usually osmium won't uh, won't work in the tinker's construct. Um, must be a new version, which is fantastic. That's great. I always hated having to take osmium to the to the uh, furnace to smelt it down. Um, let's see, Abowick is trying it out, see if we can make a block. Um, make sure you test the block to and ensure that it can be broken back down into the nine ingots. Whoa, it's huge. Interesting. Looks kind of nice. All right, so it works. So that's great. So osmium now does what most of the other ores do, which is fantastic. Um, so, you know, I would say for for this episode, I think what we're really hoping to do is um, create a few um, crop farms and a couple of NPCs to work them. Um, and uh, so, Abalik, do you want to um, you want to go and do our research? I think we created a basement here uh, for our ancient warcraft uh, research. Um, or ancient warfare research and uh, research station and engineering station uh, and so let's see what we're gonna need to create uh, let's see in the research queue is machinery um, fishing, conscription, mining okay great so we have everything we need to do the plant crops and so what we'll do is um, we'll take the book out and we're gonna put it into the engineering station and we need to look up here. You know, we can either do um, at Ancient Warfare and see all of the things that are available from the mod. And so we're going to look for Crop Farm. So Crop Farm requires two wooden gears, an iron hoe, uh, wood planks, five wood planks, and a chest. Um, so the wooden gears, you know, you can build either the ancient uh, warfare wooden gears or the buildcraft ones. The buildcraft ones are cheaper. Uh, they require uh, just a little bit less wood. And so we're going to probably just go ahead. A lot of the machines or uh, things from ancient warfare require these gears. And so we're going to go ahead and try to build um, quite a few of them. And so I'm going to need wood for that. Interestingly enough, I don't really have a lot of wood. We got these 20 sticks that will build five gears, but I'm gonna I want to build a little more than that. And so we're gonna go and grab some more oak wood. Uh, we will turn that into uh, planks. Did I not grab that? Wow, I must be tired. <laughs> there we go. All right, we'll grab those oak planks, put them in here. And turn these guys, uh, I don't want to turn all of them, because I'm going to need some planks as well. So, there we go. 
All right. And let's see, we'll turn, oops, wrong one. For some reason, intuitively, it seems like those should be on the other side for some reason. All right. All right, so we're gonna make 12 gears. That's good, that'll hold us for a little while. And you see this this table has kind of a, a little inventory here on its own, which is fantastic. Um, so we needed gears, we needed uh, five planks, and we need a chest. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and I th think, let's see, it was this. Ah, and I need that uh, wooden hoe. Or not wooden, uh, the iron hoe. Um, can you make me an iron hoe? Up there, do you have iron? All right, maybe I'll because make your iron hoe, I'll come pick it up. Whoa, she's fast, right? Nice. So here we go. All right, we're gonna get our iron hoe. No, this is for the um, uh, crop, food crops. Um, I totally forgot about the town hall. Um, so, you know what, I should have built more than one crop farm. So let's go ahead and... Can you make me another iron hoe? Thank you. Sorry, I was a little short-sighted on that. Um, and I'm going to need some more wood, which is okay. We have some here. I don't know why I feel like I have to go around the side of this thing to pick it up, but... There you go. Alright, let's... Grab some more planks. It's always good to have planks. Maybe 40 of them. 41. Thank you. Nice. Alright, we also need another chest. Oops. I'm having a lot of trouble. There we go. Oh, we got these gears in here. Pop them out. Got our chest. All right, we've got wooden hoe, chest, planks, and gears. There we go. Okay, I have two crop farms. Now, one of the things uh, I forgot to do or that Abel just mentioned, remind me, is we need a town hall. Uh, and what a town hall is is essentially it's a place for um, for our NPCs to kind of have a home and to get food. And so you can fill it with, with uh, it's got an inventory, so you can put food in there. Um, and I don't, I'm not seeing it straight off here. Uh, so I may just need to search for it. Yeah, um, it's right in front of me, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Town Hall. Okay, so to make Town Hall, we need stone bricks, um, wood, a chest. Okay, so it looks just like uh, three wood, a chest, and four stone bricks. Alright. I think we can manage that. Let's clear this out. All right, and this will just remind us. So let's make the let's do the chest first. The only problem with that is all right. So we got the chest. We have got wood planks, but we need looks like real wood. So we'll throw some wood in there. Um, then we need stone bricks, which I think I have plenty of right here. Yep. Okay, so let's go town hall. Shift question mark. No, it doesn't work with that, which is a little disappointing. All right. 